So in this in this video we're going to find the inverse of the matrix, the inverse matrix of this matrix here. So what we have to know first is like there is this is the formula in order to find out the inverse matrix. We have one hour here, which is the determinant times the adjoint. Okay, so we need to like assemble, we need to join each one of these pieces. The first one that we are going to develop is the determinant. So which is the determinant? It's going to be the multiplication of these three, which is going to be one. Afterward, the multiplication of this zero times three, zero times three, zero. Afterwards, we have the other one, which is minus one, one and minus two. It's going to be the multiplication one times minus two times minus one. So it's going to be plus two. Afterwards, I have to I have to put minus parentheses. I have the other diagonal three times one times minus one. It's going to be minus three. The other one is going to be three times minus two times one. It's going to be minus six. And the last one zero and one one times zero 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 times one zero. Okay, once we have this, we just compute. We have the determinant is 12. So this expression over here is 1 over 12. The, this one, which is the transpose, the transpose of, this, uh, of this determinant, is going to be the rows. They are going to be columns. So for example, it's going to be this is the first row. 1, 0, minus 1 is going to be the first column here. 1, 1, 3 is going to be the first going to be the first, um, the, 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 the second column here, and the third one, the third row, is going to be the third column. Okay, afterwards, I need to make the adjoint, uh, the adjoint of the transpose. Okay, we already have the transpose, now I need to be the adjoint. So, how it works? So, the first, I'm going to select here to be a little bit clear. So, I, I have to be here, so I just isolate, uh, isolate this one. So I have this is the matrix 1 minus 2 3 1 okay so this is the first one the second one is going to be the second one which is going to be here is going to be with minus okay we are going to be like minus 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 okay just this this expression okay so here um, this one is going to be this so I just like cover this one it's 0 minus 2 minus 1 1 okay this the third one is going to be this one which is going to be this okay 0 1 minus 1 3 okay and so on so forth I continue this with the other one so for example it's this minus 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 and this one for example which is this one so I'm going to select just for showing the last one so I just cover this and cover this. It's going to be one three minus one one. Okay, this is what I what I cover here. So after covering this, I'm going to I'm going to search the determinants of each one, which is going to be the multiplication uh, of diagon diagonals and just minus. So rest this one. Okay, so it's going to be one one times one one minus three times minus two. 0 times 0, 0 times 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1 times minus 2, 0 times 3, minus 1 time, times minus 1, this one to be minus, minus 1 times 1, 3 minus 3 times 3, it's going to be 9, 1 times 1 is going to be 1, and 3 times minus 1 is going to be mi minus 3, it's going to be 1 times 3, minus 1, 1 times minus 1 is going to be minus 1 and 1 times minus 2 is going to be minus 2 minus 3 times 1 is going to be minus uh, 3 this one is going to be minus 1 times minus 2 minus 2 0 times 3 is going to be 0 and 1 times 1 is going to be 1 and 0 times 1 is going to be 0 so after computing that I have this one which is the adjoint of the ad transpose we already have this one, so now we can multiply by 1 over 12. 
So this because this is a number, each value is going to be multiplied by 1 over 12. So it's going to be this one. Okay, after I just like simplify like 212 minus 4 my, uh, over 12, 4 over 12, 8 over 12, and I have this one. 2 over 12 divided both by 2 is going to be 1 over 6. 4 divided uh, 8 over 12 divided by 4 is going to be 2 over 3. It's going to be 1 over 3, and this is going to be one, minus 1 over 3. So this is the answer of the, this is the inverse matrix of this material here. So I, I, I hope it has worked. See you in the next video, and um, bye-bye.